Hi everybody, English Bob here, and welcome back to episode 5 of our Let's Play Warframe. So, in the last episode we completed our first mission, we now need to go ahead and unlock our first part of the ship, uh, which of course is the codex, so let's go ahead and unlock it. Systems engaging. I suppose this will do. Ordis is grateful. Okay, so now we've unlocked the codex. The codex basically... The operator is now connected with other Tenno in the system. The operator may now contact all black market scumbags. Contact arms dealers. So the code... Excellent idea, oh, Ordis. Jesus. Tenno, we need to make contact with a corpus defector sympathetic to the Tenno cause. They will, of course, require compensation. You see what Ordis is referring to, operator? In this case... Compensation will not be credits. It will be freedom. I've updated navigation. You will need to break him out of a Grenier Gulag. Okay, so your codex tells you everything you need to know about the world of Warframe. This is where all your quests and main missions are stored. You've then got the actual every bit of information you could ever want to know about the universe. Um, you've got the Leverian as well. You've got training. And this will give you tutorials on the basics of Warframe. And you've then got missions. So these are all the different mission types that are held within the game. And the, believe you me, there is almost an unlimited amount of content. You will not get tired of this game any time soon. Okay, so before we go and do our next mission, I don't think we can equip any mods. You can make your Warframes and weapons much more powerful by adding mods. No, we don't even have access to it yet, so let's ignore that. Um, we can talk a little bit more about these topics as we go through the game. The next thing we've got to do is liberate the imprisoned arms dealer. Let's get it done. And don't forget we are on solo. So we were going through the whole game in solo mode. No need to bother anybody else. Of course, you can play with friends relatives, brothers, sisters, all like me. Be Billy, no mates. The okay. arms dealer is named Darvo. He's being held in the prison block on the other side of this factory complex. Let's go and see Darvo. Uh, these early missions are a great opportunity for you to practice your moves. Practice your abilities and when How to use them. How many slaves died to build this place? Uh, and also practice learning your skills and moves, such as your slam tack, uh, which is a great bit of kit. Darvo was out for himself, but he is sympathetic toward the Tenno. The Grenier must have found out. Try and loot as many chests as you can. The Asperus is working, breaking through. I see the shadows of your mind. Because looting your chest distract you. Focus will on the mission. It's our only hope of figuring out this your access him. to your resources and therefore your ability to craft stuff. Top right of the screen you'll see a blue 120 and a red 120. That means we've got 120 shields in blue and 120 health in red. The shields are regenerating. Whereas the health is not. Once you've lost your health, you've lost your health. Here you go, big boy. You think you can take a ten or one? Either incredibly brave or utterly stupid. One of the two. Uh, and as I say, don't forget to explore your surroundings, your tile sets, especially if it's your first time. The world is pretty darn good. an AOE slam attack, you got it. 
As I say, do keep yourself moving. You can avoid detection by the warden. The more fluid you are, the better. Bypass the security so we can enter. So we've got to bypass security. Guard down there. Guard over there. You can play the game however you want. You can play it as a super silenced stealth killer, which is what I'm doing here. Creep up on your enemies and execute them. Uh, you get a skill affinity bonus for doing that. Uh, and you'll pretty much remain undetected the whole game. Uh, which is a really fun way to play, if that's your thing. Uh, you could also add... Uh, uh, a sniper rifle, uh, if you don't fancy the bow. Sure, there's a guard in here somewhere, yeah, there is over there. And he's not seen as yet. So Search we're going to creep up on him. He has to be here somewhere. And execute him. We've not set any alarms off at the minute. We're good to go. So he's not in that one. Let's get some free booty while we're here. And there he is. Do not give him a weapon. Uh, he will teleport to your position to keep up with you. So just get the hell out of here. Your success here depends on getting Darbo out of there alive. Melee is very, very powerful in this game. Must be desperate to send you fetching greedy fools from the corpus. Now, the Ascalus has burrowed deep enough to give me influence. Shall we see how your shields work? The Ascaris is letting Vor control your shield. We must figure out how to remove it. Avoid taking damage while I try and block him. So powerful. Of course, a lot of veteran Warframe players will tell you that um, Excalibur is a newbie starter frame, which it is, uh, but it's also one hell of a powerful frame. If you can be asked and take the time to learn him, mod it, and thoroughly enjoy it. There you go. Mission complete. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up. I will see you for another Wicked English Bob Warframe video.